All right, what's going on dudes and welcome back to Minecraft where this time we are going to be doing battle with the evil squid boss Using only one command block of course because how else would we do it commands already in there Sit the button and get started with this thing. All right, here we go squid boss by IJA Minecraft and I'm already in survival when I need to go and Come on. There we go. I got it. I can jump <laughs> Okay, so before we spawn the squid boss, let's go and make sure we get our items so we don't get obliterated instantaneously here. So I'll put on my armor and get the sword over there in the first slot, bow over there in slot number two, golden apples in slot number three, and the arrow just somewhere up there in the inventory because I have a magical infinity bow. So, in order to summon the evil squid boss, we have to make a little spawning structure. So that requires four emeralds in a diamond slash square, whatever you want to call it, like so, and then surround that by some gold as well. And you just want to make sure it's far enough away from the actual command block structure, otherwise you'll run into some trouble with the whole thing actually eating up the command blocks. So <laughs> be aware of that. I did that accidentally in another take. And then you put the, uh, the understand in the center, and um, after a couple tries of me trying to place it down unsuccessfully, there we go. Evil squid boss is joining the game. I got my eyes on you, man. No, you're going down. You're going down. You seem mighty cocky, but no, I, I promise you, I am going to take you down. So, the evil squid boss, he, uh, he spawns, and then he summons, like, water around him, and then he uh, he has these guardians that are sort of his, like, protection ring in the air, and the goal is we have to destroy the ring of elder guardians around him. But, as we're trying to do so, he's going to spawn, like, freaking endermites on our head called fear, and... God dang it, there's water all over the place. This is really annoying to work through. Out of here! Dang it! Fortunately, they despawn after like a couple seconds, and then he also summons water on your head. God dang it! Alright, so let's try shooting some of these dudes down. Best way to do it, obviously, with a bow and arrow. It's gonna be... God, and sometimes he teleports you. It's gonna be really hard to do it by melee, actually building up to them. And then... Ugh, get out of here! I am probably gonna have to eat a golden apple at some point, like, real, real soon, at least to get my hunger back up. God dang it, you guys are annoying! Oh god! I'm gonna get a golden apple, please! Help! Help! Oh god, I gotta get out of here, I'm gonna be in trouble. Okay, you know what? I should focus on- Dang it! Get out of here! I'm gonna focus on trying to take out some of the Elder Guardians around him. With my Power 1 bow, they seem to just be taking a couple shots, which is good. So, alright, I'm gonna- Damn it! Okay, I'm gonna try killing one of you guys. Get- that's uh, really difficult to do when there's water all over the place. And you guys are really jumping around like crazy. There we go. Get wrecked. Okay, let's try taking out another one. Boom. Boom. Yes. And take care of some of you as well. Oh, I hate the whole endermite spawning thing. God dang it. There's a severe advantage in the water. Okay, it's cool. It's cool. I'm going to need another golden apple. I only gave myself five of them. Give a little bit of a challenge. And they're not notch apples either. All right. Wrecked. What is that sound? I have no idea. Ow. No, stop. Don't do it again. Ow. Get out of my house. Out of here. They're so fast. It's ridiculous. Are they usually this fast? I also didn't know they were this effective on land. All right. We've only got a couple more to go here. Let's just take them out really quickly and then we should prevail. No. Nope. No, God dang it. I hate these guys so much. I hate them so much. Out of here. Get out. Oh, God. I'm just going to try to take these two out really quickly. Ah! One, two, no, three, yes, got it. I oh, see water on my head. And last but not least, got it. All right. Yeah, whatever. Evil squid boss left the game. Try to teleport me all you want. You're dead. Okay. Unfortunately, these guys are still here. I gotta try to work my way into the center to pick up the item that he drops. Come on. One moment. Oh, let me get over there. One sec. Okay, the heart of the squid is, uh, is the reward item that we get. I just gotta go get over there to pick it up. Okay. Whew, there we go. All right, so this is the heart of the squid. This is what you get when you defeat the evil squid boss. And it's really cool. If we drop it on the ground, it's pretty quick, but you'll notice that uh, it basically summons a bunch of elder guardians in a radius around you, kind of like the squid boss does when he's up in the sky. And they sort of go out and uh, if any mobs are in the line of fire, they'll get like kicked up into the air. So I'm trying to see if we have any more of the uh, any more of the guardians around. No, we don't. Hey, we have some. There we go. Hey, bud, it's your lucky day. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Not anymore. 
So what it does is they like run into any mobs that are around and then it kicks them up into the air. So why don't we go and uh, we'll switch back into creative mode and summon a few spiders or something around us so we can get a better idea as to how it works. Now, it has a cooldown period. You'll notice that uh, when you go to pick it up, it doesn't register it immediately. It gives you like a few seconds that you have to wait in order to pick it up. Um, so you can't spam it. Here we go, drop it. Yeah, and it kicks any of the spiders up into the air that are in the like immediate line of fire. Okay. Yes. There we go, boom. And then it kills kills them, does a lot of damage. So it's a, it's a pretty effective little weapon right there. And come on, where did it go? I don't know, I just accidentally get rid of it. What did they do? I don't know what I did. Oh no, I made a boo-boo. All right, well, you know what? I think you got a, a basic idea of what, what the heart of the squid does, even though I somehow just managed, I don't know if I accidentally deleted it, being in creative. Whoops. All right, well, I think we'll wrap things up there. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, uh, it'd be super awesome if you could leave a rating on the video. Maybe we could go for like um, 13 likes. Lucky number 13 likes on this video, that'd be pretty swell. And um, if you're interested in the command, check the link in the description. It'll uh, take you on over there and you can try it for yourself if you're interested. And maybe you'll succeed in not deleting the heart of the squid like I just did. Congratulations to myself. Well, <laughs> thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.